So this is a replay review of a Patreon, but I believe tier, maybe tier three or four on Patreon, which includes a monthly replay review of Eze, who sent me this replay asking me for help and uh, what he can do better perhaps. I think I'm gonna fast forward through it real quick to kind of get the overview of what happened and then I'll restart. So it looks like mercenary camp. Damn, that's you really wanted that peasants. Okay, I know pretty much already what to talk about in the start. Okay, so build order looks fine. Uh, before starting your barracks, you need to start a farm though for a little bit. Maybe just a few seconds. Because if you go for altar and then barracks, and then you make a farm, when your altar finishes, there's going to be a moment during which you can make your archmage. So this is already the part number one that you need to make sure you take a note of that. And I think in terms of build order, your build was not the crispest. Is that even a word? It was not as refined as maybe a build should be. So I think you're going to want to improve a lot of small things like this, which I will elaborate on. I think maybe the barracks here is better because then you can kind of start working on the wall. Second farm is a little bit delayed when you make it this way, but it's not the end of the world, I think. Job done, done. So maybe you didn't start your altar immediately, so it actually decently lined up. But you, generally, I would advise, like, so when the game starts, you grab your peasants, you send them to gold, you produce one peasant, and then you grab one of those fives, you send it here, and then you make altar. If you do it the right way, and then you don't get the farm the way uh, I said it, you're going to be blocked Ready for a little bit. Job done. So now you start footmen. And it looks like you want to go for the Mer camp. So, the third farm, I recommend making it on 19. Just make that a habit. Every game on 19, exactly 19, as soon as you have the gold, boom, you make the farm. You don't queue extra footmen or peasants. 19, you make farm. Your life's going to be a whole lot easier. Because now you forgot the farm. And you're going to go on 24 out of 24. And it's already kind of late. And you're sending militia, you see? So now you're going to be... Like when you start doing this, you need to buy the Forest Roll Shadow Priest shortly after. This camp, you need to pull. So how do you pull? Your first footman waits here. And when you, as soon as your Archmage comes out, you're going to send it here. And those creeps will aggro and then you're going to bring them up here. Not here to pull these creeps and not here to pull these murlocs, but up here. And then you'll come in with everything else and kill this guy first. So I think the, what I'm going to do is... Immediately after this, I will show you how the build is done on this map. So that you can know exactly. Because now you're going to take a lot of damage. A big tip about fighting this camp as well is that... This rock golem will not go through the efforts of moving his fat ass to target the water elemental. Unless the water elemental is close to him. So a good move is to move command your water elemental next to the golem. Because then the golem is going to attack the water elemental. And you want the water elemental to tank the damage. That's what they are here for. Constance with the resub, thank you very much. Welcome back. Two months. So now you're still supply blocks. You start an arcane tower. The arcane tower positioning in human human, it's very important to put them at the back. If he attacks you and he has like a bunch of footmen here attacking it and water elemental and archmage reach, he's gonna fold very quickly. However, if you make it behind your wall, like over here or over here, and it's like that on every map, same for him. It, you see he shouldn't be making it here. He should be, he should be making it maybe here. Then it's safer, it's harder to reach from an Archmage and Water Elemental. So it's a very important trick. If you look at good humans, they always make their towers like this. You see, you put the Water Elemental up against the Rock Golem and now they attack it. So now it's a little bit late because you lost the Footman now. So you get one of the best items possible, but you lose a Peasant and now you kind of realize your Supply Blocks. I think if you realize your Supply Block earlier, maybe power a farm here with all the Peasants that you have there. Another decent item here. 
then it's okay I think yeah to do this and then this and then maybe you can do this and then expand okay, you need to target this guy first that's good oh my god you got the perfect items if I could get these items every game on this map I'd be invincible and you forgot to make a farm here you need to buy mercenaries if you want to expand which because you went four farms I assume is the case you went defense and then you teched that's not really a build. If you want to go defend, you need to buy mercenaries first. And then after like four or five footmen, you get defend. You creep to level three, maybe the way you did it. And then you attack here. But if you're going to go defense. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could do it like this. Yeah, but you definitely did the farm here and the mercenaries. So if you're going to play one base like this, I think it's probably better to just take. Don't get defend before. And yeah, when you attack like this, just ring the bell. Use all militia. Yeah, he was more ready than you back at home. So now you end up having to TP. You lost a lot of peasants. You only have one on wood. You see right now a good plan B. If you have only one peasant on wood. Is to creep this and buy Shredder. And then you put that on the wood. That would help you so much to do that. Ready for action. Honestly you had really good items. So you had good potential this game to do well. Now you go for another attack, you see that he has second hero, it's obviously not good for you. So you can target uh, mercenaries. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, you don't, you don't have TP either. Thankfully he didn't succeed, but this attack can't go really far. Yeah, you need to remake a lot of these guys. And then you can see he's already on level Sanctum. I mean, if I saw that, I'd think the game's already over for me, because you haven't started yours. It's a really, really, really long shot to come back from here. More creeping. See, usually when you go for double sanctum like this, you have to expand a lot of the time shortly after. One base is like very hard to pull off, because if he expands, then you're the one that has to all in. But now your wood is just in shambles, so I think something good that you could have done is get a lumber mill and get the lumber upgrades to really help fix that. But yeah, you need to be producing like, I would say maybe two to four priests, then upgrade, and then you can go into breakers. So you see he's getting expo. You get double breaker. I guess you shopped items, right? You got boots and a scroll and an evil. Yeah, he has MK level 3, it's going to be tricky. All he has to do is target your hero, really. Yeah, he has more. It's really tough to recover from that position. Like, this guy was just so ahead after the, the whole start, basically. And now when you don't have expo like this, I would say just creep a little bit and then all in here with, like, maybe a lot of militia. Take every peasant but two from the woods. Make as many units as you can and go for it here. And then hope that maybe through some crazy hero target you can win. But now coming back by expanding that much later than him is just going to outmass you like super clearly. Okay, so now you're coming. You see how much he has. He got some good item as well. He got an Oliora. Yeah, so he had way too much. So I'm going to show you now how you're supposed to do the builds on this map. I'll put a computer, I mean it doesn't really matter, it's just about uh, me showing you the builds of how to creep and expand or play one base. If you want to open with mercenary camp first, so basically how to pull it properly so you see now before this guy could enter the gold i sent it there to make the altar and then now in the start of every game you kind of map out i mean i know on every map how i'm going to build my base but it's always going to be farm and then barracks above you see i take my time and then i make sure it's like sealed off because then it makes it harder for him to get in than having an open base like if he attacks me and i have two farms here it's also harder for him to make water elementals inside of my base like if even in this corner, it wouldn't be very easy. So you see I started my farm earlier, then now I continue it. And then now, this one is going to go to gold, but then I'm not going to wait for the next ones to make the farm. 
I'm gonna make it a bit earlier than that so I don't get supply blocked at any time, but I still get the extra gold from this. Before, I would have just rallied that peasant here and made the farm now, but then, thanks to Infi, we realized that it wasn't necessary. So now you see, it was like halfway through done. I queued the farm here, so I don't get supply blocked, and then we still get five on gold, and then now you can rise, start rallying on wood. I don't think you really need an arcane tower on this map. Because everybody plays Archimage and they create the Merc camp and they play pretty passive. And even if he attacks your main base, you can, can you're gonna be in this area a lot of the time, so then you can just come back and defend. So you see I have 18, but I have the 19th unit, the peasant, queued already, and I have the golds and wood for farm. So then you queue that extra farm. You see 19. Every 18 or 19. If you've already queued the 19th peasant and, or like the 19th units, I guess. You can scout with your first footman or not. Like you don't have to, like I said. There's not much crazy stuff the opponent can do and then it's easy to react to it if you have your base sealed off. So we're gonna do- oh yeah, we're doing the Mer camp. So look, I'm gonna shift here. Pretty close, but not touching it. And then you run away here. You run away, you right click here and then you right click here. So it's gonna go all the way up there and then it's gonna return. And what's gonna do is it's gonna pull all of these creeps away and then you kill this guy first. And when you fight them here, they're not gonna use any slow or stun, supposedly. Sometimes I, I mess it up. But you see I take this very important guy out because he heals and casts in a fire. I don't know why this guy's at attacking that. Yeah, go for the water elemental. You see I still have the gold to go for that. And then now it's always the question, do you get the next farm back at home or do you get it here? I think I'm gonna get it here with a little bit more than one peasant, maybe. Yeah, with two peasants. I think it's good to turn off the auto healing on this guy. You can just heal manually, because otherwise he's ju just gonna heal the water elemental sometimes, which... You don't really want. I'm gonna do this one with like just two militia. I don't need many, I already got so many units anyway. And then after that, once you will have done this build many times, you will get into the rhythm. You'll know that you can't buy this guy up until it's like 19 o'clock or something. And then you make a bunch of peasants because, I mean, whether or not you're going to be expanding, you need more. You need at least 9 wood peasants. And then if you expand, you'll make even more than that after that. Yeah, it's 19 o'clock. Guys, I didn't even know you can hold a beaky. But I read about it in a chat earlier. Oh my god, that's so sick. So I didn't have to keep pressing it, I just held it. Now remember that this guy reloads faster when you buy him very quickly. So now I pretty much bought him instantly when the game started. It was the first camp that I crept. So after it comes back, you want to buy the second one, basically. Is gonna be after a, I'm done with this camp. You can pull the aggro. You see, I'm gonna do attack on this on this one. So I did attack for one second on this guy with this footman, and before I hit, I stopped, and then the creep pull, pulled the aggro, so it stopped attacking the, this footman and lowering its hit points. The way I like to heal a footman and then not leave this guy behind is I press E, I left click, and then I press Shift and I right click on my arc mage. So when this guy is done healing this footman, he's gonna follow my Archmage. And then I'll notice that he's following my Archmage and I'll rebind this guy into my group. But before that, I take him out of my group. So that if I run around and I fight, he's just following me and healing. He's not actually like attacking or putting himself in too much danger. So you see he's healing, he's healing. And then full HP, what does he do? He's gonna go to my Archmage. And then he immediately starts attacking. I notice that he's not in my group. He doesn't have the green circle. So I put him in my group. This is like a super solid build to expand pretty fast. I mean, I already even have, I mean, this guy left me completely undisturbed. Obviously it's a computer easy or whatever, I don't even remember. So this is the build I recommend you to practice more, but if you want to play one base, then you don't expand, you just tech. But you still get these guys, and then you can get defend, and then you can attack here, because the opponent will have uh, crept that and expanded usually. So that's it, I would definitely just focus on that for now. I gave you general advice after that on like what you need to make and uh, how to proceed but for now just focus on executing this build yourself and yeah like obviously you need this after and then 
on tier 2, uh, a lot of the time it's gonna be mountain king. What the fuck is this guy doing? And then you'll go. If it's expand against one base, a very important thing to do. If the guy is try gonna try to push you or you suspect he's gonna push you, first of all, you need to stay there until this is finished. Don't get too crazy. Unless you know that he's expanding and you've scaled it somehow. But yeah, if the guy is on one base, a lot of the time he's gonna make double sanctum and push here. A great thing that you can do, I lost so many games like that and then I learned, is make a lot of arcane towers. So place them well as well. You can make like two or three and then you wall off in the front. Arcane towers kill casters so fast. When he's gonna come in with his priests and sorceresses, they're gonna die instantly. Water elementals are gonna be removed. And footmen on their own and double hero are not gonna do that much, especially if you're standing there with the units. And all you have to do is buy enough time for you to get double arcane sanctum. And because the opponent had to rely on sorceresses, then you're gonna win by just making a bunch of breakers and priests and just taking good fight. You're gonna outmass him. Look at my gold. The gold is just so far superior when you expand early like this. Yeah, so that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, guys on YouTube, let me know if you guys like this format as well. This was a review for a Patreon. Ready